Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to templeofsunshine.com and Temple of Sunshine on YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our series about vision boards and we're going to talk about how to use a vision board once you've made one and essentially how to make it work, you know, how to really get the ball rolling, the momentum happening to make all those lovely pictures you have on your vision board work. And because this is my channel, of course, we're going to keep it simple. We're not going to make anything too complex. So settle in, grab a tea or coffee, and let's get into why and how you should use this vision board to manifest everything you've put out there for 2021 or however long you've put this vision board out there for. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I would like to first of all say that a vision board, the reason why it works, and I will go into this in another video, but the reason why a vision board work, works is the power of visualization. To visualize your desires is to pretty much trick your brain into thinking that you have it already. And how you do this is by sort of closing your eyes and pretending you're in a situation where your desire is happening. Now, you might just call that daydreaming and you might just think, well, I do that all the time and, you know, I don't have all the things that I want currently in my life. But what you're probably missing if you're new to all this law of attraction stuff or you haven't read The Secret, or if you haven't read any sort of law of attraction books or you're new to all of this, basically, uh, is that you need to engage the feeling. So let's really remember this point come back to this point in the video if you start getting off track let's remember that feeling is the secret a quote by neville goddard essentially when you're visualizing or manifesting you need to be in the feeling of what you want so let's say you've put on uh your vision board a new car and i always use this example because it's very very easy to use as an example i do actually have a car on mine um so let's say you've put a new car on your vision board I want you to sit there and when you think about this car, whether you're doing a visualization activity, whether you're thinking about it during your meditation or whether you're going about your day thinking, I'm really excited for this car. I want you to think about the feelings you will have when you are in the car, holding the steering wheel and driving off. How are you going to feel in this car, right? I want you to literally engage the feelings. I want you to touch it, taste it, smell it. Like, what can you smell? Is it new leather seats? Is it that lovely new car smell? Or is it just the, you know, can you smell the car freshener that you've put in? How do you feel? Can you feel how the seats feel? Are they comfy? Are they snug? Do you have a seat warmer on? <laughs> um, you know, what can you see? What does your sort of sound system look like? What does your navigation system look like? Go into sort of like really close detail when you're thinking about your vision board or the pictures you have on your vision board go into extreme detail if you can. if you have a daily routine make sure viewing that vision board is part of it every single day i look at it when i go to get dressed so i don't have a set time it's whenever i go to get dressed i open my cupboard door and i see my vision board and it's also hidden away there as well because i don't really want it out in the open for everyone to see all the time just a personal thing you know there's personal stuff on there so I want you to have your vision board in a place where you can see it every day or put it into your daily routine to look at it every day. And then once you've done that, I want you to take just 17 seconds to pick one item from the vision board once a day or focus on one, perhaps one month and move on. It's totally up to you. This is your vision board. This is your creative control. It's it's totally up to you. Uh, pick out one thing from that vision board and think about it for 17 seconds up to a minute now 17 seconds to a minute is simply enough don't think you have to sit there for 20 minutes eyes closed thinking about your vision because two things you're going to lose focus and you probably don't have that much to visualize because we don't have this thing in our reality right we don't know what it feels like just yet but we can imagine what it will feel like it's most likely exciting joyful, relieving. Now my second tip, sorry, tip one was very long. My second tip to making that vision board manifest is to somehow forget about it. I know this is contradictory where I tell you, look at it every day, but forget about it. So what I'm trying to say to you is, uh, in my last point, I said to you, pick maybe one thing to visualize maybe once a month. So maybe I'll focus on the car for January and then in February I'll, I'll focus on the yoga. I don't know. Uh, but you can pick something new every day. But what I'm trying to say is set it and forget it, right? Try to 
set your intention and then be like, I let this go. And this is a very key to manifestation uh, in general. We'll talk about this in future videos. But when you, the things that I've manifested effortlessly on last year's vision board for me are the ones that I sort of just let go. Like I look at my vision board every day and I smile and I really think about what would it be like if all of this came true, which it will. Um, however, if there's something that I really want, right? If there's something on there where I've put it there with high hopes, anxiety that it might not happen really really like oh my god i really want this to happen there's a lot of uh feeling in me behind it i'm careful with that one so for example i have a few on there which are about a monetary situation or savings the ones where i have really just i look at it every day and i feel the emotion but i try not to think about it too much those are the ones that have manifested much more easy than I thought. I wish I had done that with the ones where I had a lot of energy behind it. So this is a really learning point for me. Uh, the ones where I felt very anxious about manifesting it or where I felt like I need to do a lot more and I've got worried about it. I should have just let it go more and I should have just relaxed. Um, because the ones where I relaxed and I didn't hyper focus on it, those are the ones that manifested like easy breezy without any effort. And that's what I wish I'd done. Point three, and this is the one that sometimes is a hard pill for us to swallow. Those of us who love Law of Attraction, we really do imagine it sometimes as just sitting on my sofa visualizing and then it, <laughs> it drops in my lap. And for certain things that does happen. So for example, like sometimes job opportunities will just fall into your lap. Where did it come from? Who knows? A uh, romantic partner, things like that. Sometimes it really just, just fall into our lap. But guys, if there's a dream that you really want to make happen, you know that action is important. But I'm not going to tell you to get up at five every day, grind yourself to death, you know, work hard, play hard. I, this not, that's not what this channel is about. You know I'm a big follower of Taoism. I really believe doing nothing is the best thing to do. And not in a lazy way, it's more to, to remove resistance and only taking inspired action. This is the tip that is perhaps the most important. If you've made it this far in the video, this is really the crux of what you need to be doing. The rest are very good tips, but this is what's going to make your dreams a reality. I'm not going to say work hard for them because working hard is often a negative, right? We don't view working hard as a positive, but when you are really excited for something, you will end up working so hard without calling it hard work, right? We can go over that. I'm sure you know that already. My point is, um, don't think that just because you've put this square on your vision board that it's just going to manifest out of nowhere. So I have a video where I talk about what has manifested, what hasn't manifested in my 2020 um, vision board. And there are a few things that didn't manifest because I did nothing towards that goal. And I've been very candid and honest. So there was this bit of a silly one where I said I wanted to sell a painting. I'm no artist. I'm a very amateur artist, but I just put it on there because me and my friend thought it'd be just a nice one to have on there to lighten the mood. I did no painting last year. I just think had I started painting um, consistently throughout the year, of course I would have sold a painting. Okay, not for much maybe for five pounds on eBay, <laughs> but I would have sold a painting, right? It would have happened if I would have just been consistent with painting, if I'd put more effort in, if I, you know, actually channeled my energy and took some inspired action to paint. Every time I thought about painting, I got too lazy and that is my fault. So just in that way, let's say you have a business idea on your vision board, which I did last year on my vision board. It was up there to set up a business and I did Temple of Sunshine. But guys, it took a lot of hard work to not to set up the business. That wasn't the hard work. That was actually effortless because I took inspired action. The hard work was when I nagged myself every night to start a YouTube when I was rolling around in bed, 4am, I couldn't sleep at night telling myself, hey, global pandemic, you're stuck at home. This is the most amazing time for you to experiment with, you know, getting yourself on camera, speaking to a camera and get over the shyness of just having a YouTube. And I honestly, it took me so long to just get myself together and start this YouTube or put videos up on Instagram. 
And now that I have, I'm so glad, but it took action. It took inspired action. And you can put millions of things on this vision board and make it look so pretty. You can spend hours on it. You can use lovely colored paper, put a lace trim on it, you know, Photoshop every single image, but no, it's not gonna happen if you don't do the work. And the work doesn't always have to be hard work. Sometimes it's simply market research of what other businesses are doing with your business idea. Sometimes it's simply just recording that video and keeping it in your camera roll until you're ready. And one day you will just post it. It takes that step, but only do that step when you feel like doing it, when you're really revved up to do it. And it will happen, but you need to be open to taking that action. If you're sitting there expecting you can make a vision board and it's gonna come true, out of nowhere it's not okay final step and we're going to end this video so it doesn't get too too long and i don't waste your precious time is um if you can find a trusted friend or relative or loved one and maybe not show them your vision board if you don't fancy it or have a vision board buddy if you do want to show your vision board. So me and my good friend Nicole, the whole reason why I started doing a vision board is because we met up at dinner one day, we took a notepad dinner and we said within 12 months I want to achieve all of this and we just kept writing and we've done another one for 2020 to 2021. We kind of did it at an awkward time in the year. We did it in the summer but a lot of that went on my vision board right so that's what prompted me to get on that vision board but I also know that I'm gonna go to dinner with her in the summer of 2021 and I'm gonna sit with her and tell her about things that I have and haven't achieved now I don't want this to be a negative pressure on you but if you have some accountability or someone to say yes I've done this no I haven't and for them to sort of like be like well done or maybe next year you know that's not just yourself sometimes we actually do more because we know someone else is going to see us do it but make sure this is someone you trust make sure this is not someone who's going to make you feel bad if you haven't done something on your vision board make sure this is not someone who's going to put you down make sure this is someone encouraging loving and kind and full of like good vibes so if you can get a vision board buddy out there or a goal buddy meet up with them once a year or virtual this year if corona's still a thing um and just go over what you want to achieve be completely candid don't hide things make sure this is a friend that you trust and um write it all down swap the lists and then they keep the list with them make sure you take a picture or something to remember what's on it uh that's a mistake we did um and come back to it in a year. Yeah. Anyway, those were my tips on how to make that vision board work. You've got your vision board now. It looks amazing. So start setting those intentions. Start working towards your goals little by little. Don't push yourself too much to the point where it becomes an annoying thing. You don't want this vision board to become annoying or something that puts a lot of pressure on you. Uh, take it easy and check back in with me next December and let me know uh, how how it's worked out for you. Anyway, stay blessed. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I hope you've enjoyed this vision board series. If there's any other things you want me to do uh, about vision boards, any other videos, sorry, then please let me know in the comments down below. Stay blessed. Have a great day. Bye.